watched uh, a lot of your videos and um, yeah, you, it's, it's ultra detailed, you know? And then also you're one of those guys that uh, ha has a Taekwondo background. And then after that, you went into Muay Thai and you used your, your Taekwondo, you made it work. You adjusted your Taekwondo so that it works in, you know, kickboxing and Muay Thai. And that's, uh, that's really cool because I think that sometimes if all you do is Taekwondo, and then you're, you're not able to, 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 to like, um, to, to make the adjustments so that you could, uh, you know, you could fight in the ring with it, you know, in kickboxing or, or Muay Thai, then, you know, it's, uh, well, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's what happens to boxers when they go in there thinking they can box a kick, a kickboxer and, and have no other skills besides boxing. They just get destroyed. Um, there's compilations on YouTube with it. Like a boxer goes in to, uh, there was this fight, I don't remember what it was, a K1 fight, this tall Russian kickboxer versus this American, I think he was a former champ or some professional boxer. First round, it was over, just leg kicks, leg kicks, leg kicks, kicks to the face. It was just a complete, just demolishment of that boxer. It's not because boxing sucks, boxing is awesome, but boxing is a specialist martial art. It's a specialization you, you, you can add to base styles, base kickboxing styles, stuff like that. Taekwondo or old school WTF Olympic style Taekwondo is basically boxing with the legs. It's leg boxing. So it's a specialization martial art that does its best or becomes its best when it's merged with something that has a good overall base, like any sort of Japanese kickboxing, Muay Thai, Southeast Asian kickboxing styles, you know, just general MMA stand up, it enhances it. Like you, you get, you take boxing and you give it to a cookie cutter MMA fighter. He's suddenly amazing. Right. It, and if you take uh, Olympic Taekwondo and you give it to a cookie cutter MMA fighter, who's got all well-rounded, but now he's got crazy kicks in addition to his knowledge of like all aspects of fighting, he's going to be insane. So uh, that's kind of how it goes with uh, specialization. It's People who are like, oh, it's useless on the street. It's like, dude, you are looking at it as the wrong thing. It is a specialization. It's like doctors go to med school to get their, their, their general MD, right? And then they, they work on a specialization after that. Well, Taekwondo would be that extra specialization. Boxing, extra specialization. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. That make, actually, that's, that's a, that makes a lot of sense. And that's a great analogy where you're, when you're a doctor, first you, you, know, you study the whole thing. So you're like a generalist. And after that, if you want to specialize, then you specialize. Either you become a heart surgeon, brain surgeon, uh, orthopedics, even in orthopedics, you got like guys who just operate, doctors who operate just on the who specialize in the shoulder, hip, knee, and so on and so on. And yeah, so I think that what you said, what you said right there, like if you generalize at the beginning, you know, in martial arts, so you learn, <clears throat> I would understand that as, okay, you need some form of grappling, you need some form of striking, uh, you need some form of um, takedown, you know, and after that, if you could add into it, you know, like your Taekwondo, your boxing, and then, you know, you start to refine your skills deeper and deeper, then yeah, you could become like a force to be reckoned with.